How's it going, everybody? Born AK Hack here. Here's the deal. It's some very interesting news coming out of San Diego today related to the Padres. Ryan Weathers getting the job over Jay Groom. And I think this is a very interesting storyline here. I thought Jay Groom had a really, really nice spring training. I think only allowed two, three runs overall, pitched, I think, 13, 14 innings and was spectacular. Weathers didn't have as good of a string. He did have a stronger spring than most expected, but the Padres sent Jay Groom down to AAA El Paso, and it's looking like Ryan Weathers is going to be starting the fifth game of the year for the San Diego Potters. As always, everybody, this video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. Go to mantasleep.com. Go get yourself a Manta mask. Change in your life with sleep. Go use code HAWK for 10% off. I'm telling you, thank me later. All my friends have been doing so. In all seriousness, I was not expecting this. They get Jay Groom in the Hosmer deal. He's looking so good in spring training. Is it maybe Ryan Weathers has the family lineage aspect to him? I know that sometimes plays a role in the big leagues. But listen, I think this is going to be a very short leash with whoever was going to win this positional battle. If Weathers struggles his first two, three starts, he likely gets sent down. And Jay Groom gets the nod back onto the big league roster. Remember, the Potters are likely going to be without No-No Joe just for one start, maybe two, to start the 2023 campaign. But it's just very interesting to me that they are doing this because I thought that there was no way Jay Groom was not going to win this job because of how good his spring was. So I want you to let Hogno down below what your thoughts are on this positional battle decision. Again, Ryan Weathers gets the job. He stays on the 40-man. Jay Groom gets sent down and goes to AAA El Paso to start the year. Now, likely this is not going to be the same team that ends the year for the San Diego Padres, but the back end of this rotation, we all know the depth is going to be tested in the rotation as well as the bullpen. We'll get into the Suarez situation, but I think it's very interesting to see how this rotation is going to start to unfold as the year progresses, right? Darvish isn't ready yet. We know Musgrove's situation with the toe, so we're going to see a lot of these guys in action early on in Martinez, Lugo, Waka, and now Jay Groom, excuse me, now Ryan Weathers. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on everybody. I'll see you Thursday for the first post game show. It's been your boy Hag, and I'm signing out. Peace!